you were a teenager or becoming a teenager in the early 2000s, you saw the explosion of what we now know as car culture. And that was definitely spurned on by a few different films. Gone in 60 Seconds, which came out in the year 2000, was definitely an amazing movie that got me really interested in the world of cars. But in 2001, we of course got The Fast and the Furious, and everything just completely changed after that. 14 and 15 years old respectively at the time of watching those films, I was just engulfed with cars and I wanted to learn about them and learn more about them. Well, at the end of 1999, Gran Turismo 2 came out on the PlayStation 1 and honestly, it's it's probably my favorite PlayStation 1 game of all time. While it might have lacked some of the frills and the NOS that things like the Fast and the Furious had, it was really a car simulator but also a car learning tool. It taught you about car that you probably had no idea about. And I loved this game so much that I actually purchased one of the vehicles in it once I became an adult. We'll talk about that as we get into the video. But 25 years later, in the year 2024, Gran Turismo 2 is alive and well, not just with visual mods, but with new content being added into the game with Gran Turismo 2 A-Spec. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at how to take your basic vanilla Gran Turismo from this to this. All right, so we are at the main menu of Gran Turismo 2 A spec, and I know what you're saying. RGT, this looks a lot like Gran Turismo 2. This is Gran Turismo 2, you're a liar. But hey, you know what? The proof is in the pudding, folks. Let's go over and take a look at some Renaults because everyone loves a Renault. My dad actually had a really crappy one. We called it the Booger Mobile because it was green. Now, looking at this lineup of cars here, the Spider, the Renault Spider, that's a brand new car. And yes, they have actually added in several brand new cars into this game, all with multiple color schemes, if applicable, which is just awesome. Adding in new cars, like that's what Gran Turismo 7 is doing in 2024, but we're getting it in Gran Turismo 2. You want a new event? Well, I'll give you a new event, a new endurance event that was first introduced in Gran Turismo 3 A spec. Yes, folks, Like a Wind has now been added into Gran Turismo 2. Very cool stuff. A whole new event for you to do that you've never done before. Well, what about cars that are already available in the game? There have been several cars that have been updated to be more like their real world counterpart in terms of specs like horsepower and stuff, which I think is very, very cool. Let's get a car to buy though here. Ah, the C43 AMG, the car that RGT owned. Now I did not pay 104,000 credits for it. I paid eight grand for it about eight or nine years ago. It's actually still in the family as well, but I bought this car because of this stupid game and I, I just, I would race this car as a kid. But how about the actual racing? What is different here? Well, this ain't your Gran Turismo 2 that your grandma played. This ain't your normal PS1 Gran Turismo 2. You can see right off the bat here, we have some beautiful visuals that have obviously been upscaled, much sharper textures, and more importantly, we are at 60 frames per second. Yes, Gran Turismo 2 was not 60 frames per second. It was actually 30 frames per second. But you can see here, we are running at 60 frames per second, and it just, it feels like a different game. Like, it honestly feels just so good, so welcoming, and most importantly, so modern. Like, it, it, your car just handles... I, I, it's really different. You know, people will say, oh, you know, it's not that big of a deal. But in certain games, you know, 60 frames is ideal. And racing games are definitely one of those genres. If there's a performance mode in a racing game, I'm definitely picking that. But you could see here, like, just how good the tracks look now. And yeah, you know, there's some pop-up and stuff. But I mean, that's going to happen. There are some codes that you could try to sort of alleviate some of the pop-up. But I'm just in awe because really I'm staring at my car. I'm staring at the track. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to have to turn next so i'm not looking at the pop-up i'm looking at this beautiful game running at 60 frames per second and it just gets even better especially when you look at the replays and you can like really appreciate just the details the colors how everything looks how everything is presented in this game it just it's so magical as as someone who played this game for hundreds of hours as a kid like being able to experience it with a new coat of paint and you know new features and new vehicles it's just it's incredible man this is one of my favorite cars of all time the acura integra type r 98 i always wanted one of these cars but now they're all clapped out or people just have ruined them completely or they're all way too expensive on bring a trailer or something like that but just awesome like i just absolutely love 
what this mod does for bringing in new content, but what the features of Duck Station, the emulator, allow you to do that we're using for this to really breathe new life into this game. Like, even the nighttime tracks, dude. Like, this looks insane. A PS3 game, or a PS2 game, I should say, a PS1 game, I should say, should not look this good, but I think it almost looks like a PS2 game. If you got rid of that pop-up, man, this easily looks like a PS2 game, in my opinion. Maybe that's just nostalgia talking here, but I love the way that the night courses look. And I know what you're saying to yourself, RGT, how am I going to set up Duck Station in order to do this? That sounds really hard. Well, it's actually very, very easy. And we're going to show you how to set up Duck Station, what the settings that I use for Duck Station are to get this performance, to get this look with your Gran Turismo 2 A spec mod. But this mod is absolutely incredible. I love the little touches that they did, such as updating car statistics. And I absolutely adore the new content because it really breathes new life into this game that I thought I had seen everything I was going to see in it. But let's get into setting up the emulator itself. Okay, so here is Duck Station, and this is the emulator that will allow you to make the game look nice and pretty. Now, as far as getting Duck Station is concerned, you type Duck Station into Google. It will pop up. You simply download the emulator, and then when you're setting up the emulator, it'll ask you for some BIOS files for the PlayStation 1. Now, once again, just Google PS1 BIOS files. You'll see them very quickly. You can download them and then put them in the appropriate folder for duck station to have it and then you're pretty much set up here now when it comes to your game as far as getting gran turismo to a spec you could sign up on their discord talk to them there is a patch file that you can download that you basically patch gran turismo 2 with the a spec patch or you can either go to cd romance i believe it's cd romance.com they already have a pre-patched version of the game that's what i'm using for this video and i just found it to be a little bit easier so we're going to be looking at my settings here for gran turismo to a spec it kind of depends on your system these are just the things i'm running and i've basically learned this from other people's videos on how to set things up tinkered with it a little bit in order to get you know the appropriate feeling that i want now i am enabling the clock okay so you can see here um enable eight megabytes of ram that's for some various cheats that you can have access to i do have a money cheat that was provided on their discord that basically has the money and all of the licenses so i don't have to play through the game for hours and hours and hours like i did when i was 13 but enable clock control speed or enable clock speed control i have this set up to 279 percent and that's in order to get that 60 frames per second now there are patches that you can do with it as well there are cheats that you can do with it as well but to me i found this to be the easiest thing for this specific game as far as getting that 60 frames per second and it looks and feels like phenomenal basically all this is set on default um we go down to graphics and here's where things it can be a little bit tricky but i like to upscale it to six times native i feel like that just looks very good to me um it doesn't tax my computer all that much in order to do it don't do any down sampling texture filtering nearest neighbor i believe that's default 16 by 9 aspect ratio so we're nice and widescreen um for borders i crop all borders uh for the scaling i go with sharp and i turn v-sync on because i like v-sync you also want to do this pgxp geometry correction you know how polygons and stuff get all warped on the playstation one this kind of alleviates a lot of that sort of stuff i don't have anything special going on in advance with the um pgxp i have perspective correct textures culling correction and perspective correct colors and i think that does an absolutely great job and really that's all i have set up for this now i sometimes wonder if the codes work i, I really don't have any luck with the codes and like when you look there's codes for like 60 frames per second and stuff for Gran Turismo 2 but it never seems to work with me and like what I'm doing and yes I have cheats enabled on I just turned them off for capturing the gameplay here but 
when I do this with the emulate or with the console and to speed up the clock to 279, like that's that's a real 60 frames per second. I don't know if that's in conjunction with the code that I have activated. The code is built into the um, Duck Station emulator, by the way. There is an additional 60 frame per second um, code that you can find. There are some enhancement codes for this as well. I've never really had any sort of luck using them this is just what i am doing for gran turismo 2 a spec and i absolutely love it all right so that is gran turismo 2 a spec and how to get it running nice and well on your pc you can also use it on android devices anything that duck station supports you can use it on there hell you can actually supposedly use it on an original hacked psp but i haven't tried that myself let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this mod. Are you a fan of the Gran Turismo games? Do you have that good old nostalgia for Gran Turismo 2 like I do? And will you be checking out this mod? I want to give a huge thank you to the people behind the Gran Turismo 2 A-Spec mod for making this a reality. Adding in new content to a 25-year-old game that's so beloved to so many people is just a completely class move, and I absolutely love this mod. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you for checking out this video. If you got any questions, I probably won't answer them. I thought it was pretty straightforward in how to set everything up, and as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.